Hello and welcome back to our video series on your PLR makeover. In this video, the procedure we're going to be working with is going to be a bit more advanced and requires a little more of a professional level of video editing software than what we tackled in the prior video using Windows Movie Maker. Now in this video, we're going to be using Camtasia Studio. Now there are other software out there like, go oh, say, Sony Vegas, for example, uh, that is not free, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that both Camtasia Studio and uh, Sony Vegas has a free trial version that you can play around with prior to sinking the big bucks. But again, that's just an option you might want to uh, check into. Now in this video, you're going to learn how to completely change the look of the entire video. So let's go ahead and jump right on into this. I went ahead and opened up the Camtasia Studio software and you can see some minor similarities in that you've got the task list over here, we can import the media, you can create title clips and uh, you can record you know, from your uh, camera and of course these are grayed out because well we don't have anything in our editing or the timeline just yet and you can see here we also have the storyboard uh, that you can also show this in its current state though is the timeline. I went ahead and imported the uh, WMV file that we're working with and you can do that by just clicking on here navigating to the file you're going to be importing and bada bing bada boom there we go. Now we can just left click hold and drag into our timeline and here Again, like with Windows Movie Maker, we're not going to go into a great deal of uh, technical expertise on how to use this software. We're just going to uh, cover the portions required to make the look of our video change. So in this case, if we click on this, you can see a lot of these are, you've got a lot of options to work with here, and a lot of these are presets I've created myself. But we're going to go with Custom and click on Keep Aspect Ratio. It's not necessary, but basically we're working with a width of 600 by 452 that's what the software has figured out that our video is, size is currently so we'll click on OK we're good to go it'll pull it in here oh yep it's at the end so let's bring this back to the beginning there we go and now the cool thing with this version of Camtasia Studio that you will not find in a prior version of Camtasia Studio and that is you are able to unlock the audio from the video. We've got two different segments here and currently they're locked and if you come over here and you hover over this little what looks like a little light there, a little button, uh, you can click on this, just left click on this to unlock the two because otherwise you're going to be majorly limited to the amount of editing you can do without messing up the audio portion. You want to keep the audio uh, for the sake of this example and you might want to just get rid of this part of the video. Here, let's kind of scroll in just a little bit. Let's say you want to change the title altogether. You don't want it to be called Social Traffic Network Meetup.com. You've got an entirely different domain name, just like we discussed in the prior videos on your ebook editing. And you've got an, uh, another title altogether. You've got a domain name that matches that title, and you want to just get rid of this altogether. No problemo. You go to where the transition ends and the actual video begins like right here, but that's not a lot of working space there, you need some more. You hit this plus sign, the zoom in, hit that a few gazillion times, and now you see you got a lot more, um, it magnifies the workspace. So right here is where the beginning is, and you just put your uh, marker right there, and you can come on up here to uh, split, click on that, and that separates the two, you can see this is the title box and you can just right click on this and remove from timeline. Now what my guess is, is that you probably already have uh, used your Photoshop or your GIMP or whatever Im image editing software you have to create a replacement for this. And let's say you've already clicked on the import media and brought that into your clip bin. So you've got your image here, no problem. If you hover over this right here, you can see the amount of time or the length of this is at 6 seconds and 4 frames. That's that 0, 4 there. So all you need to do then is to, uh, you know, you got a little bit of uh, blank space right here uh, where there's no speaking of the audio. That's 
where this title screen comes in at, which is cool. I mean, maybe you want to put in some background music here in, in its place. You Again, in this case, also, you are only limited by your own imagination, so go to town. Uh, you got some uh, background sound or background music you want to pull in here, import media. and you, But all you have to do then is, with any image that you have, let's go ahead and import an image if we've got one here. Let's see what this is. Yeah. Okay, well that's not going to work too well, but just as an example, we'll bring it down here and move this over. And now then we can eliminate this by right-clicking, make sure you got the dotted lines there, and then remove from timeline. Wait a minute, I didn't unlock anything, so let's get this. Okay, and in case you screw something up, you got your undo button right here. Yeah, I did that on purpose just to show you this. Click on that, and bam, you're back here. Now, we want to do this again because uh, we want to unlock the video from the audio. So we just left-click on this. Are you sure you want to permanently undo this? Yes. Now then, if we bring this in, left-click, hold, and drag, and then click on this, make sure it's highlighted, right-click, remove from timeline and it's just out of the view of the video here but uh, it's removed from timeline and just click on that and it's gone. Now you can see the audio portion did not phase, didn't phase it in the least. It's still right where it always was. And then you can just bring this up to where it was originally and seamless. You have imported your newly created title screen that you created in whatever image software you've got and it has effectively replaced the existing or the old title screen that was there except the transition because what we've got here is the uh, just the image we don't have a transition so if we go here to transitions it automatically moves us to the storyboard look and you can just find whatever transition you like and there's several to choose from Pretty similar to that of Windows Movie Maker at that you know for that matter. Just left click, hold and drag, and then we just scroll on over here, click on the finish button, because we're finished, and it has put a space in between the uh, transition of the audio. Now if you don't want that, no biggie. You can just click, hold and drag and move this guy right on over. Now, I would suggest in a fading section that you not have any audio, so I would just you know leave that the way that it was, but again, it's totally up to you. With these guys unlocked, you're able to go to town. Now, if you wanted to, you can also lock these by just clicking. If you hover over this, you can see, you can click on that, and this is locked. So this will not, you can do anything you want to this guy up here, and it will not affect the, the audio down here at all. I mean, it won't put the space in there just like it did or anything like that, um, but I would leave it unlocked. And then once you're done with your uh, editing, and like I mentioned in the, your entry screen should be uh, minimal, uh, say no more than, you know, three seconds, five seconds tops, uh, I'd say three seconds for the actual image, a couple of seconds for the uh, uh, transition, and then at the end of the video, have your call to action your exit screen and have that you know the blatant self promotion screen if you will you know put your URLs that put your URLs there uh, you know the make that you know 10 seconds 20 seconds in length because as soon as your viewers you know tired looking at that then they're off the video they're gonna go elsewhere uh, but at least ways that amount of time would allow them the time to run and grab that pencil and paper and jot down your URL or open up their browser and watch that uh, um, or go to that URL. And there are so many other bells and whistles to Camtasia Studio that you can do. You can actually put clickable links onto the video itself if you are converting this to a flash format, for example. I mean, there's just so much more you can do with this that we just don't have time to cover in this video. But I did want to mention how you can unlock the audio from the video portion. And throughout the entire video, if you wanted to remove this section, then you can just repeat the same thing we did in removing the title screen here. You can find where that particular image ends and put in another image. 
Uh, and again, like with the prior video, if you wanted to add commentary, an audio commentary, or even an audio video commentary that is within your native language because the video itself, the original video, is not recorded in your native language, then you can do, it, do this even with more flexibility using Camtasia Studio than what you're able to do using Windows Movie Maker. The same process we went through in editing out the original uh, title screen here and putting in it in its place a, um, a you can do that throughout the entire video uh, like audio whatsoever because with the Windows Movie Maker as you delete or split or adjust the video portion you're doing the same to the audio portion so that's the only drawback in the comparison between the two uh, that is a major drawback if you ask me but a major plus if you have Camtasia Studio or even the free trial version which I think is like 30 days long so that's pretty much it insofar as using Camtasia Studio to change the entire look or the potential entire look of your PLR video. Don't forget you can also bring in sound effects, uh, soundtrack, uh, intro, exit audios. There's so much you can do with Camtasia Studio that we just don't have time for it all in this one video. But at least ways, hopefully I've whetted your appetite in getting out there and using Camtasia Studio if you don't already have version 6.0.2, which at the time of this recording is the newest version, then get it. And use your AVI, your WMV, your MOVs, whatever source video format you have, bring it in, use it, and change the entire look of your video. Make a unique product. Oh, another thing too is you can um, video, you can eliminate this altogether, eliminate the video portion, leaving just the audio portion, and you can have an audio ebook. Um, audio, uh, once you've as an MP3, for example, or a WAV, you can send this off to some outsourced. Uh, say, or elance.com and have them transcribe this for you. That way you can provide the transcription, the written words of the video along with your new video, adding even more value to the end product that you are now created, that you have now created using these changes that we've talked about in this and in prior videos. So that's going to bring us to the end of this video on changing the entire look of your PLR video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this.